<laughs> but where did the Stunner Girl connection come from? How'd you so, guys actually meet? I know her because back in the day, um, I used to be out there with the Mozzie and shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, a couple of them is Mozzie, I f with blood. Like, a few of them is my niggas, you know what I'm saying? And we met along the line, like, thugging, just outside, thugging and shit. Like, you know how that shit be, blood, getting money, young. She the hottest in her city, I'm the hottest in my bitty. You just lock in, blood, you know how that shit be. I go to prison, get out, boom, it's, it's already set up. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, my wife put me in a position like, she made me step my shit up. Like, it's CEO shit. You know, we ain't doing no more street shit. So now I be trying to, I be trying to be bull blood, like with a lot of shit. Like, I really be trying to like, just be like on some positive shit now. Like 2024, trying to get rich. You know what I'm saying? But it seemed like the devil knock at a motherfucker door every time a nigga get on that. You feel me? Like, goddamn. Like, t- For sure. So you have, you, have you had to get, how long have you been with her? Me and Stunner been together three years. Three years. Yep. And for me, I think I interviewed her for the first time in maybe like 2018. So she was just kind of getting started doing her rapping thing back then. And it's kind of crazy to see that now everything she drops is doing millions of views. She does an interview on here, gets 700,000 views. Like, she's super popping. Like, have you kind of witnessed that? Or was she already lit when you started I'm going to keep her? it lit. Wifey was already lit, blessed. She already had a big-ass fan base. Like, but she's grown and I watched it go up like right. I watched it go up from like 200,000 150,000 to millions blood like for sure from the whole 150,000 followers to the millions and everybody calling even now still she ain't gotta do shit blood like she's so she different blood like mm-hmm. she different you feel me she got that type of energy like nigga you already know she ain't come to play like you know like that's why we married blood did you <laughs> Did you always know you would want to be with a gangster chick? Because she, she comes out very street. Like, she knows exactly what's going on, including certain questions in that last interview. Yeah. It's, they're asking about Mozzie and shit, and I see her, like, clearly knowing a, a bunch of different street shit, and she's just kind of clamming up. She ain't really saying nothing. I just feel like, you know, she ain't... She tell me, even, like, blood, watch what you say on these interviews, because she been doing this shit, so she had never say some shit to put herself in a hole. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she just was lace right, so she ain't like the rest of these m****s get on here and say some goofy ass shit, tell her Ben is some shit. They ain't supposed to say, get on here and start talking about who killed who and shit. Nah, she ain't, she ain't on that. And she's not lit for that, because that's not something that the baddies audience... Nah, she a real gangster. Yeah. She a real gangster. But, like, the baddies audience doesn't give a fuck about your street beef. It's not like if you're, like, Lil Durk, where it's like, Lil Durk's fans want to hear about his street drama yeah. for her oh, yeah. they want to see you like you know throw some drinks at a chick in the club <laughs> or whatever but they don't want to necessarily like know about the the, the crazy whole street shit. Stunner, they just know she turned blood like that's one female i met that she ain't letting go mm-hmm. like nothing like she 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 really a gangster she gonna think about some shit from last year like oh yeah remember that bitch talking shit on twitter i'm finna drag that bitch. she really serious about that shit. like she ain't you know, she ain't one of them ones to play with, blood. That's for all y'all to know, blood. Don't bark up that tree. Hell That's well. the wrong fucking tree, blood. Like, even without me. You know, she got a whole fucking <laughs> game behind her, but you know mm. what I'm saying? She ain't. She, she a real one by herself, though. But it's like, I feel like a lot of girls in this kind of position, like a Nicki Minaj ends up dating like a, a safari. Like a dude who's like kind of in the background at that time, or even her dude now, he's more like laid back, chill. You don't seem super laid back and chill. I mean, maybe a little laid back sometimes, falling asleep on the podcast, but <laughs> you know, like you, you, you seem like you're a little extra out as well. So, like, w- is the energy between you guys like what does that ever I'm get? Keep it real, blood. Like, I had to grow up fast because it's like we both extra. Mm. So it'd be like, imagine, imagine being married, blood, and it's like. You know, our relationship good, but it's like sometime a month will be having to wifey, you got that. You know what I'm saying? And mm. it's more of a lot of time with her ass because, you know, that's stunning girl, but that's right. how she is. So, you feel me? I definitely had to learn how to be more humble being with my wife, for sure. Like, for sure. And it ain't just like on some, just she on some just like mad shit. It's just she know, she understand her work and she expect a lot from people. So, mm. she make stand on that but uh, is it easy for you to kind of like let her be in the foreground and you to be in the background at times because obviously like you'll come and do a podcast like this together 
But then also there's a lot of shit that she's doing in terms of the TV stuff or whatever, where it's like her going out and being the center of attention. I'm going to keep it real, like, and all my homies will tell you this. Me and, look at it. me and her ain't got no videos out. I do music too. I don't be tripping, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a real nigga. I ain't here for that. That ain't why we got together. When my time come, my time will come. Power rule, I'm stand down. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to piggyback off my wife, none of that. Even though she involved me in everything without me even having to ask, that's just how she made it. Mandatory. She made me the CEO of the label and made me figure out how to do this shit. So it's like she she sharing the platform with me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even really got to ask her. If I wanted to, I could do a whole mixtape with her. A whole fucking mixtape and a video to every song, but that ain't what we here for, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to see her flourish. I want to see her be at the top, you know what I'm saying? First, you know what I'm saying? Then I start thinking about Young Rich Moolah rap shit. Right now, I got the TV network shit popping off. Me, her, and Ray J just partnered up. We just kicked out the Tronics, the Rare Rum. Tronics, that's Ray J. Red Room TV, that's ours. Right. It's about to launch, you know what I'm saying? A couple weeks. We've been f***ing with the homie Ray Tough, Blood of Real. You know what I'm saying? He showed me and Stunner Love like 25 8. You know what I'm saying? Like, give knowledge. He teaching wealth. I f with Blood Tough and the homie. I got to you know, tap in with Ray J. He got the, the streaming business on deck, right? Facts. I'm talking about Blood just showed me like 10 million, 20 million a month type shit. Whoa. Like, you know what I'm saying? We made the page yesterday. It went 100,000 followers damn near first day just just on Instagram, just Whoa. off one stunner repost. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they ready for it. He told me, like, if, they're, if the network would have been launched, and that would have been a network, he like, y'all would have made, like, 5 million right now already. That's just crazy. That fast. What, what, like, a, le a lesser man would not be able to handle having a, a wife who is that famous, not to mention, you know, she's doing music videos, performing, et cetera. She's wearing all kinds of scantily clad outfits and shit. Do you, do you ever feel, do you ever feel jealous? Do you ever feel a little bit like, like, you know, like there's, there's gotta be a little piece of you that wants to be with like a, a housewife who just is chilling around the crib, right? I'm gonna keep you all the way else, but all the time I'll be jealous. I, mm. I'll be jealous. Not of her, like around people, but like when she wear them fits, I'd be jealous. But like, mm. that's my ass. I don't want nobody to see that ass. There's been a couple of times where I liked one of her pictures and then I, I took the like back. Because you thought about me? And I was like, I don't <laughs> want him to think I'm liking this picture for that. You know, like, and I've known her for mad long too, so I don't want, like, I'm thinking, like, well, everybody's going to see me. I don't want to, okay. <laughs> nah, I'm glad you the homie. You know, I, ain't, I know this. You ain't even got a chance, blood. <laughs> no, I don't want. Yeah, yeah, that's all you. I, you're right. You're right. I don't think I got enough felonies to deal with her. She seemed like the type. She requires a couple felonies. I got enough felonies. Stunner girl never gonna fall in love with a dude who don't got a felony. At least one. Uh, and a set. At least one of them. If you don't got a hood day, I don't know if Stunner girl gonna be able to tolerate you. On the way, nigga. She ain't fucking all busters, nigga. Uh, if you ain't got a hood day. Oh, God, but not for real, though, but a nigga don't be like, I really don't be like tripping off the network with men. Mm. Like, that ain't really my. That ain't really my place. That's her career. Mm. You feel me? But, you know, she runs shit by me. Like, how you feel if I do this and this and that? Like, do your thing. Mm. For sure. But, like, the clothes and shit, that'll have a nigga more insecure than anything for some reason. I don't know why. Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? 